Craig from UT Culinary School is in the studios here this morning, and we have Ooh. something that smells amazing. Uh, and who's your lovely guest? Emily. Say hi. Hi, Emily. How hi, are you? Good, Welcome how are to the you? show. Looks like you're making something amazing. What are you making over here? So I'm making pulled sugar, just made from granulated sugar. Pulled sugar. sugar. Yeah. I'm surprised. We're, I'm, we're, I'm, I would have recommend. I would imagine we're going to learn more about this here in a moment. Or but try. What are we doing? So we have like a brown butter pound cake. Sounds terrible. With a lavender <laughs> mascarpone. And Mike, you're in charge of this. Okay, I on am. On the plate build. Okay. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. And then we have a little lavender syrup, a strawberry coolie, oh and brown butter. Doesn't that sound good? This sounds amazing. So this is what you're doing. This, this is what you're doing over here. Yes. yes. Look at Look that. Look at that. Isn't that great? Is that just that's like that's presentation, right? That's and pres it's flavor because it's flavor. like a a golden brown delicious <laughs> that's kind so of thing. So cool. You know. All right. So, so okay. So pound cake. This is your traditional pound cake. Correct. So a pound of butter. Yep. Pound of sugar. Look at me. Yep. Pound of butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of it over there too. Hey. Oh. Hey man. I for didn't that. agree to that. I just laughed at it. Hey man for that. <laughs> so this dish is we're considering doing this dish for a fundraiser we're doing in March. You are okay. To What's that fundraiser? raise uh, raise funds for. Uh, East Tennessee Food Bank. Okay. Second Harvest. Nice. There we UT go. UT Culinary. They always need um, money and donations for yes sure. Yes, they do. So uh, we need a few more folks. So okay. any info is utculinaryfacebook.com. Okay, perfect. And you can find info there if you are interested in culinary at all whatsoever. I've had a couple friends go through your program. Yes. Uh, and so it's just a great program. You're a lot of fun, a lot of entertainment, and a wealth of just food knowledge and things that you guys make over there are just incredible. Tell me about your experience over there. So I have a pleasant experience so far. I would say you that just have to say that because you're <laughs> on TV and Chef Greg is right here. But uh, I'm just we called about the grade, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, just a variety of chefs from all different yeah. backgrounds. I think that's pretty unique. So. Why do you want to be a chef? So I started. I own a creamery, Sweetwater Creamery. So you do? Yeah. So start. I started Wait a working. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait yes. a second. This is amazing. Yes. Okay, keep going. So I, I make everything homemade in okay. the back, and I just really love working with people, and food allows me to, you know, connect. Yes. So, yeah. This is amazing. What's your favorite thing about cooking? That you can do anything you want with yeah. it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> This is awesome. Okay, hey, so this is my turn. Huh? Okay, bullseye, Mike. You can do Wait, it. We gotta get this going. Oh, yeah. what's going on in there? Why so is that it's purple? A, it's a lavender hey, syrup, it? dead bullseye, right? Right there. Yep, right there. Good, good hot. Look, Look at that, that Mike. Look at you that. know, I have hope for you, my friend. <laughs> well, one day I, have I may. Hope. One day I may make so it. So a tiny little bit of lavender syrup. So what, explain lavender syrup for us. So this is something that we've added. It's a reduction of lavender and lemon juice. And a little bit of carol syrup. Ooh, lavender is so good. I know, it is. It is so and Emily's good. gonna pull a little bit of sugar. Uh, well, watch out, she might get you. <laughs> if somebody wants to do this for presentation, how do you do this? What she's oh, doing? So you is, gotta can pay, we do it? You get, yeah, look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's amazing. So you, you have to pay That's attention. So cool. You heat the sugar sort of high heat, low heat, and you just let it melt, and that's it. And that's just sugar. That's that is it. just sugar. And then how do you get it to do that? What's this utensil you're using? And this is a whisk that I cut with a bandsaw uh, with some So that's metal just a blade. whisk. It's just a whisk. <laughs> Shut it? the front door. This is amazing. You know, a little bit of whoop. Well, you got to get this cherry on and the strawberry on Strawberry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, anything else coming up? Yeah, just the fundraiser. Just the fun. Well, yeah. a lot more. UT Culinary Program Facebook, March 26. We're going to benefit Second Harvest Food this Bank is, of East Tennessee. This a little is bit amazing. of UT Culinary. We this. think that would be a good dessert. Uh, Don't uh, you, you agree? You think? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to have to try some. There's a bunch over there. So, hey, listen, we're going to have a lot more on this as well. What is your favorite thing to cook? If you were to pick anything at all, of all the things that you've taught to the students, what would you say your favorite thing is? Something that I don't know till five minutes before I'm ready to cook it. <laughs> because I can right. wing it. You know, I you can come wing like it. a wrecking ball. <laughs> It's amazing. Amen. Amen. What is your favorite thing to cook? I'm a huge fan of desserts, and we got to make bananas foster, and oh, so the flambe. Amazing. If you get to play with fire, it's pretty fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about your savory? What's your best savory dish? Savory so far, I would say pork tenderloin. So okay. getting to just be able to break that down from start to finish, and then you know soak it, marinate everything. This so, is yeah, so amazing. Sure. You guys are awesome. Thank you for coming in. Again, great recipe to uh, to impress. Thank impress you, Mike. your guests. 818, we'll be right back.